You look big time, don't you? Sure you are. We're really, uh, really proud of our effort tonight. I um, thought our kids had a good look about him. Uh, they're playing on edge. Uh, we're playing with quite a bit of confidence right now. And uh, I think the, uh, I think our defense and rebounding really set the tone tonight. And we knew that Northern Arizona was you know, they're top ten in the nation in field goal percentage. They're number one in three-point field goal percentage. Uh, they lead, they're number one in points scored in our conference, in conference games. So we knew that we, we were going to be challenged defensively, and that was going to be a big key. And I thought our kids really rose to the challenge, and they were ready to go. And, you know, I thought that first probably 12, 13 minutes of the first half was we, we played really good defense. And, and uh, you know, they caught up. They made a run. I think a lot of that had to do with our turnovers. We got a little screwed up on their run and jump pressure, and, um, but you know, second half I thought, you know, they hit the half court shot. Uh, they kind of had the momentum going into halftime, and you know, I think a lot of teams could have come out and just kind of got back on their heels. And we just we really made the emphasis: we got to go back and be the aggressor. We changed our press breaker against their pressure, and I thought that helped us. And uh, we got back being aggressive and uh, played, played really well in the second half. Coach, can you talk about the rebounding margin, 39-18? It's nice, finally. Um, we've been stressing it so much, and you know we're playing good rebounding teams. We, we've been, defensive rebounding-wise, we're doing a really good job. Uh, our percentage is good. So on percentage of misses, we, we have a really high percentage. Uh, tonight, we got them to miss a lot of shots, uh, and so there's a lot more rebounds. But it just makes the game so much easier. If you can just be really hard to score on defensively, <laughs> Challenge it, be hard to score on, and rebound the ball. It sounds simple, but you know our kids did that tonight, and uh, and then when that happens, you know we get some runouts, and our transition offense is is pretty good. We're able to get some easy baskets, and you know so I think everything's based on our defense and rebounding, and they really did a good job of that tonight. What are you doing to get some easy rebounds? Emphasizing, it. you know, rebounding is just want. You got to want to. It's all the intangibles: toughness, heart, determination, grit. You know, all the things that everybody talks about. And that's why Bollinger goes and gets 15, because he epitomizes all those, all the intangibles. He's tough, you know, he's gritty, he's determined. And when you tell him we got to go rebound, he says, I'll go do the dirty work. It's dirty work. And that's why he's able to rebound the ball, because he has all those intangibles. But that's all it comes down to. And uh, so it was nice to, nice to obviously have that margin on the boards. You talk about for being a good shooter, are you seeing, even with his harnesses, are you seeing the kid that you thought you would see? I, mean, I can't wait to like see it. him 100%, to be honest with you. <laughs> he's, he's, pretty, he's a pretty damn good player. Um, but he's really, no, I mean, you can see the kind of player that Scotty is. He's, and it's just not his shooting ability, it's his, it's his basketball IQ. He's got really good court awareness. Uh, he sees things. He sees things a lot quicker than a lot of guys out there because he's got that awareness. So he passes the ball. He handles the ball. He distributes the ball, and he's also a really good defender. And so, and obviously he can shoot the ball. So uh, it's nice for our team. You know, I think he he sensed that you know we might need some shots from him tonight, and he stepped up and made them. And uh, but he's just he's a good basketball player. And, like I said, he's playing about 50% right now. I'm excited to see what he could do at 100%. He's got a chance to be a real good, real good player next year. Can you talk about where you guys are uh, getting his three-point shooting percentage from? Taking good shots. You know, our kids, you know, we emphasize from day one when the kids get here in August that it's their obligation, it's their responsibility to come in and shoot. And we try to recruit gym rats. We try to recruit guys that, you know, we've talked about this. We try to get high character guys. We try to get tough guys, good students. And then we want competitive guys. And competitive guys, if they're competitive, they love to be in the gym. And I got, we got a bunch of guys that love to be in the gym. And so they come in constantly and they get their own reps. I mean, if we practice, there's guys coming in in the morning, getting shots up. Guys stay after practice for a half hour and get shots up. They're constantly getting their reps in. And you combine that, that's that's what gives you confidence as a shooter. You know, shooters need to shoot. That's the old saying. Um, but it comes down to playing good basketball. We're taking we're taking good shots. We're taking <coughs> inside-out threes. We're not just coming down and jacking them up. 
we're taking, you know, post touches, throw it out, because they doubled us tonight. So we threw it out, we made some threes. We're taking threes off of penetration, where somebody gets you that three. And that's that's a big difference, you know. We do run some sets to get threes. But, you know, and, and tonight, we got to take what they give us. And tonight, they doubled our post. And they weren't going to let us score on the post. So we had to kick it out. We had to make one more pass, sometimes two more passes. And they they were going to give us three opportunities, and we, we were able to make a, few, make a few of them tonight. So, you know, we're always going to pass the ball in the post. If they're going to double us, you know, we're pretty good shooters. We can hurt you from there. And if they don't, you know, uh, don't double us in the post, we'll try to throw it in and hopefully score some buckets there. So just try to take what they give you. It's a really good ball movement at times tonight. It looks like around the perimeter. Yeah. Some shots with that emphasis. yeah, that's what we do. You know, we, we practice if we get doubled, kick it out, make an extra one, and sometimes make an extra one. And you can hear the kids on the court, one more, one more. They were even saying it to each other. You know, we got to make that defense rotate, and then that defense can't always get to the right side once you've rotated it. So we're able to get some good looks there. And the kids really buy into, you know, they're going to share the ball. They don't care who gets the shot as long as it's a, it's a good shot. And so uh, they're really good, doing a good job sharing the ball. Now that you guys have got on a roll here at home, and have to go on the road. How do you apply that? Uh, what you've been able to do here? Well, hopefully, hopefully back? we'll have some confidence. But as you can see, I mean, it's the road is a whole different deal. And I've always said to win on the road. Number one, you got to be pretty damn good. Uh, but number two, it takes maturity, it takes toughness, it takes togetherness uh, to have a good team on the road. And we've had some pretty good teams on the road here. And I think this team is really. Uh, performed hard. They played really hard on the road with the exception of one game. And it doesn't mean you're going to be successful. we got to be the aggressor. We've got to be able to defend as well on the road as we do at home. we got to rebound at a high level. And it's everything is kicked up a notch on the road. Um, you've got to play, you know, all areas of the game. But it starts with defense, rebounding, being the aggressor, and having that mindset. And then it might give you a chance. And then that doesn't mean you're going to be successful. It might give you an opportunity. And we're facing a team that's playing really good basketball. They're, you know, their coach said they're playing as good a basketball as they play, and I've seen it. They're, they've got, uh, they're the most athletic team in the league. Uh, they got those three guards that can actually shoot the tar out of the ball, and uh, they are quick and aggressive, and it's going to be a huge challenge trying to guard this team, especially at third place. But, you know, we're going to challenge the kids. The kids' voice pretty much responded to a challenge. So we'll see what, you know, and they've been sitting there all week waiting for us. You know, they haven't had to play all week. So they're going to be on high energy, high aggressiveness, and they are going to be ready to go. They're going to be chomping at the bit. So uh, we got to match all that. And then hopefully that will give us an opportunity. Thanks, Thanks Coach. Coach. Yep, thank you.